Hello everyone, one of the questions that I'm asked most as a beader is to tell you the difference between the needles that we carry here at Jewelry Maker. We have two main brands of our beading needles. We have the Beadsmith range and a new addition to Jewelry Maker is the Tulip. So I thought I'd just talk you through the differences between them. So if we go to the Beadsmith needles first. Now they have two sizes in their seed beading range. They have the size 10 and they have the size 12. One thing you need to understand with not only the Beadsmith needles but also the Tulip brand is that the larger the number you see in the top right hand corner here, so in this case it's size 12, the smaller the hole. So the larger the number, the smaller the hole and that works alongside both brands. So in the Beadsmith range we've got two, we've got the size 10 and we've got the size 12. What I definitely recommend is if you're doing beading products where you have lots of multiple passes or you're using size 15 O's and lots of 11 O's, definitely recommend using the size 12s. But also bear in mind, not only is the needle slightly thinner, you get a smaller eye as well. So just bear that in mind when you're doing your beading projects. So in the beadsmith needle, you get four in each pack. So you get four of the size 10 and you get four of the size 12. And inside the packets, you get these really nice little holders inside that hold onto your needles. So perfectly placed there. So you can actually use those little holes in the packet there for more needles if you want, if you didn't want to carry multiple packs around with you. Now, as well as the size 10 and the size 12 beading needles, there's also this product, which is called the Big Eye Needle. Now, for those people who have quite a few dexterity issues and find it really difficult to thread a conventional needle, these are ideal. I've taken one out of the packet here and I've separated just so you can see the big eye in operation. So it, so it, comes, so it, so it comes flat and I've just opened it up just to see. So basically the, the eye of the needle is from the top all the way down to the bottom. So you just simply open the loop, you place the, oops, you place the thread through the, the, the needle, then you close up the needle nice and tight and then you continue with your beading projects. And these come in varying sizes in the pack from small to medium to extra long. So you get six of those in a pack and they're called big eye beading needles. So that's the beadsmith range that we carry here. And uh, we shouldn't have favorites, but the tulip range are a, a brand that has been recently introduced. And I have fallen madly in love with this particular range. So I thought I'd talk you through. So we carry them in three sizes. We carry them in the 11, the 12, and the size 13. So at the moment, I'm currently, my needle of choice is the size 12. It's very, very fine, very, very strong. And in a moment, I'll talk you through all the attributes to the tulip needles. As well as selling the three separate sizes, we also sell a multi-pack, which contains size 10, 11, and 12. As I've just previously mentioned, the sizing is exactly the same. The larger the number, the smaller the needle, the smaller the eye. So bear that in mind as well when you come to doing your beading projects. So in each of these little cardboard boxes, you get these amazing little vials, these little tubes. So it's a man-made cork at the end, so it's got a really nice green credential. And you're probably wondering what that little white piece of paper is. Well, if I tell you that inside, if I take those two out, I'll come back to that little bit of paper in a second. If I take one of the needles out, you will notice, now these are size 12, which are my needle of choice, that the eye, can you see at the top, is 24 karat gold plate. Now, the reason that it's gold plated is because gold is a very, very smooth and very, very um, soft metal so to be able to have that incorporating not only the outside of the eye, but all of the inside, just aids your needle threading. So that's why this little piece of paper inside is an anti-tarnish tag. So Tulip think of every little detail when they're popping their needles together. Now the Tulip brand, as, as Tulip needles, have been around since 1953. But the Hiroshima needles, which is the mother company, have actually been producing needles and materials for nearly 300 years. Not only do they make needles, they make knitting needles, crochet hooks, everything for the crafter, but they also make medical needles as well. So if you imagine the smallest needle that, that Tulip actually produce is for microsurgery, 
and their finest needle currently is 300 the width of a human hair. It's absolutely phenomenal, this company. And the reason that I love tulip needles in particular is I can't work with a needle once it is distorted out of shape. I like a completely straight needle and I don't think I'm alone there in the crafting world. So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to take the needle and I'm going to pop it horizontally. So it's very, very strong, but it completely comes back to its shape. So I can use the same needle for project after project after project and I don't get any distortion at all. It's incredibly strong, incredibly fine. And it sounds, probably sounds really counterintuitive, but the top of the needle here, the point, is so incredibly sharp that it, that it doesn't feel sharp, if that makes sense. It's, it's quite an odd um, equation to, to suggest, but it's just an absolutely beautifully made. These, these are handmade. There we go, look, you can see just how strong and fine it is. So I'm actually putting quite a bit of pressure on that needle point but it's not causing any discomfort at all. It's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful needle. So these are the size 12, which I tend to use more than, not, more than any. And as I said, they come in these really, really nice little packaged little vials so you can keep your needles in. And as I said, anti-tarnish tag, so make sure that keeps in all the time because you don't want any of that, that gold to disappear. Then we've got size 11. So if you're new to beading or you're using larger beads, this is the, name, the needle of choice to use because it's got a larger eye, slightly thicker needle. And if you're using 6Os or 8Os, anything smaller than that, I tend to move on to a size 12. So for beginners, definitely recommend the size 11. I use the size 12 because I use a lot of smaller beads, i.e. 11Os and 15Os. And a lot of techniques that I use, including peyote and, and cross stitch and that type of thing, I tend to use size 12 because you're doing multiple passes through the needle. Now the other needle that you can see in front of me is the size 13. Now not only is this very fine, you can just see it inside the pack, inside the tube there. Not only is it finer, but it's shorter. And the size 13 is predominantly for using, when you're using for your fabric. So if you're using shibori, or you're using leather, or any type of fabric work, in bead embroidery for example, when you're beading onto backing foundation, you want something that isn't long because you want the purchase to actually dig through the materials. And if you're using something like soutache, for example, which is quite a thick beading material, you need something that's short and sturdy. Otherwise, if it's too long, you won't get any purchase on it. So that's why it's extra small. So that's your tulip needles and your beadsmith needles. I think I've gone over everything you need to know about these amazing products. And all I can say is happy beading. <laughs>